Hello, welcome to CSS Tutorials brought to you by Anpro Technologies. Myself Nirmala. In this session, we are going to learn the lesson number 12 that is CSS Overflow and Float Properties. Coming to CSS overflow property, the overflow property controls what happens to content that breaks outside of the bound. This is the syntax, the overflow may be a visible, hidden, scroll, auto and inherit. These are all the values accepted by the overflow. We will see how actually overflow property works. Go to Visual Studio Code, save the file, type all basic tags within a body tag. Take a div tag, write the content of the div, this is the content of the div tag, I am going to write the styles for my div tag within a head tag, style, div, for the div tag I am going to give a width. 200 pixels and a height 200 pixel and a background color gray the border for this pixel solid green save the file go to file location Open the file with a browser. Here you can observe that div and the content of the div is overflowing outside the like out of the boundary. For this we have a property called overflow as I said it accepts visible hidden scroll all are the properties by default it is visible I can go for hidden if I give the value hidden the overflow content will be hidden here you can observe that the content is hidden if I give this as a scroll Save the file, go to browser, refresh, just a minute. Refresh the browser. Here you can observe that we are getting a scroll bar. So this is how we can avoid the overflow of the content. So this is the overflow property. By default it is it is visible. We can give as a hidden scroll or a auto. According to the text content it will be uh, giving the scroll bars. And we can also inherit this properties. And next we have a property called a float. If I give a float, we have it accepts two values that is left and a right. For example, I want to display this div at the right side. For that, we can use a property called float right. By default, it is left. We can give a float property right. Save the file, go to browser, refresh. Here you can observe that the div tag is displayed at the right side you can apply this flow property to any html elements finally thank you for listening please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training 
we are also on facebook you can like our uh, facebook by visiting this urls we are also on twitter for more references please refer our websites we are also on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give a feedback thank you have a great day